In this problem, we are to represent the number 213 using number tiles by dragging them into the shaded area. Let's start by noticing that the number 3 is in the units place, and a unit will be represented by a little blue square shown here. The 1 is in the tens place. We're going to be using what's called a rod to represent the numbers in the tens place because each rod has 10 units in it. The 2 is in the hundreds place, and if you notice here, this object, sometimes called a flat, has 100 units in it, so we use a flat to represent the numbers in the hundreds place. So for example, the fact that the number 2 is in the hundreds place, that means we have 200 units. So rather than dragging many, many, many of the little blue squares, 200 in fact, which would take a very long time, I'm going to instead drag two flats. There's one, there's two. So by dragging two flats, I've dragged 200 units in. To remove a tile, we can drag it out of the shaded area. So let me do that by dragging each of these back out of the shaded area. Now I have two hundred units in the shaded area. I still need 13 more to go and rather than dragging 13 of these, a more efficient way to do it is to notice that there's a one in the tens place. So I would drag one rod which would give me 10 units. Now I have 210 tiles in the shaded area. I only need three more because there's a three in the units place so I can drag three tiles. If I was to realign the tiles this way, you would see that the two flats representing the number 200 corresponds to the two. Moving to the right, we had one in the tens place, we have one rod in the tens place, and the three was in the units place, so we have three tiles here. So this is 213. Now that I'm convinced that my answer is correct, I'm going to click the submit button. Because the green box is now white, this means I have full score on this question. I also know this because the box is completely green. 